In this specific video, you're going to learn how to create a brand new post in WordPress. So right now I'm at the WordPress dashboard. If I click on this pin icon and click on add new, I can create a new post. So as you can see here, a post is made up of a title and a body. So what I need to do is enter the title here. Let's say I'm going to name it Funny T-Shirts. And I'll just enter a bunch of text here. And with the text, you can, of course, bold it. You can italicize. You can create unordered lists. You can create ordered lists. You can create, you can align it. You can create links to URLs and other websites. You can also have a spell checker here. You can actually toggle full screen mode if you click on this. Basically, it removes everything around it and all you see is the editor itself. You can show and hide the buttons. You can underline. You can align full. You can change the color of the text. You can paste text from another editor. You can paste text from Word and you can do a lot more from that. Now up at the top here when you publish you can publish it three different ways. You can publish it publicly. You can stick this post on the front page. You can password protect it. You can make it private and if you do make it private then you will require people to become subscribers and register for the content and so forth. You want to make it exclusive. We're going to make it public and you can also publish it immediately or you can publish it in the future. So let's say you, for example, you have 10 different posts and you want to post one every day. You can actually do that with this option here. And format is just simply different formats. For example, the standard format is going to show, if I click on publish here, I can show you. And if I click on view posts, right now this is the standard format. So you have a the headline and the text. If I change it to Let's say, for example, link. If there's a link here, it's just going to show a link. If it's a gallery, I can include a bunch of images and it'll show a gallery. If it's status, then it'll show it kind of like a Twitter status and quotes and images. Images will basically show you the first image that it sees, it'll grab and it'll show just that image. And as WordPress, you know, updates their system, they're always going to add different formats. And of course, if you go to Google and just search for WordPress post format, you can get some updated information about these formats. And as they begin to add more and more about these different formats. Now, categories here, you can put this post in a specific category. You can add a new category, say funny t-shirts, news. You can add a category and add the specific post to that category. You can create subcategories of these categories and comments would be you can add comments here. You can add, revisions are basically, let's say you published it once and you go ahead and publish it again. You make some changes. You're going to see revisions here. So you can actually revert to a previous revision. And if you revert, you can also revert back or go back to a newer revision. Tags are basically this. Let's say, for example, you have tags like funny, sad, t-shirts, 
And in this case, we'd just say funny comma t-shirts. If I had two other posts with the tags funny, then if somebody clicks on the tag funny, they're going to see this post and the other two, which they're going to see three posts that are having tags with funny. And the featured image is basically this. If you go to the live site, you don't see it now, but we can actually specify a header image. And if we set the featured image for a specific post, anytime you view that specific post or specific page, then you will see this specific set featured image. And that's pretty much how to create a post.